All right, this morning we're going to talk about how to use tran count. And really quickly, we will show you how to do one count. So the first thing to notice is that every time that I open up a transaction, the transaction count is one is added. I should say it's incremented uh, each time I open up a begin tran. And each time I throw a commit tran, the transaction uh, count is decremented or one is subtracted from it. Uh, you, we can also look at this in relation to um, actually, let's do it this way here. Let's say we do rollback tran, and you'll see. So the begin tran adds one to this. The rollback tran or the commit tran subtracts one from this. So, and why is this important? Let's say we did a begin tran, and then within our begin tran, we did another begin tran. And we will illustrate this. And then, let's copy that, we opened up another transaction. Now, in practice, this may be, for instance, a large stored procedure um, where we're doing various transactions. We're like inserting, updating, and we may want to only commit to certain transactions. And depending on what happens, uh, for instance, where our trend count is at, um, for instance, if our transaction count is three, we may also want to do additional items. So for instance, if our transaction count gets to three, um, we may want to execute another sort of procedure. So, and in fact, there's actually a process that we have running in production right now, which if it gets to, uh, basically it will never get to a second transaction count. But if it does, and the reason why is it would be an error, it will actually execute another process. So let's do this right here. All right, so you'll notice that for every time I hit, I uh, opened up begin tran, the transaction count one was added to it. So at this point, which is where it's three, you can see that that's because there's three begin trans. So that's what transaction count is doing. Then we started committing the transaction. As we committed the transaction, the transaction count um, started decreasing by one. And uh, like the, the big part of this that I've seen used quite a bit, and it's not something that we use frequently, but the big point where we've seen this used is usually in stored procedures of process, um, and usually we'll measure how many transactions deep it got into. And so uh, that's one of the reasons why you, or that's one of the ways you may use it. Um, probably more so this will be in an OLTP environment can't think of a situation in which you would use it in an OLAP environment, but definitely in an OLTP environment. So that's what uh, add at transaction count, I'm sorry, add at tran count means and how to use it. 